Jacob's this uh, service. We are looking at the family life of Jacob. You know, this should be the third part of his family life. Uh, last week, Sunday, I showed you how uh, 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 a, a competitive spirit, you know, entered the family. I'm not going there today. But today, I'm looking at the danger in polygamous marriage from the family of, uh, of Jacob. The, the danger in polygamous marriage from the family of Jacob. Because so many things now, you know, we are, we are at the end of the world. Things, the coming of Jesus is getting closer. People are losing out, losing it when it comes to faith. People have started gradually to negotiate, you know, kingdom principles. I heard that the church in England married, a God, you know, wedded two males in church. Now, we are in the end of the world. The Bible says when you see the abomination that causes desolation, standing where? In the holy place. In the holy place. He said, know that the time is near. So, so many things are going wrong. We see pastors taking second wife today. And if pastor takes second wife, kill or more, she. But let's look at the stand of the Bible. Matthew chapter 19. Let's start from there. We take the stand, then we come back into the family of Jacob. Matthew chapter 19, from verse 3 to verse 9. Matthew 19, from verse 3 to verse 9. You know, we stand up to read the first Bible reading. So we are going to be on our feet. I'll read verse 3, you read verse 4. I would interchange like that till we get to verse 9. Let's be on our feet in honor of God's word. Thank you. Thank you. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. You'll be sitting very soon again. Hallelujah. Be on your feet. I read. Then, sorry, the Pharisees also came to him, testing him and saying to him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? You will read verse 4. Can we have verse 4 for them? For just any reason. Let's go. And he answered and said to them, have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? I don't know whether you saw something here. Jesus our Lord was a reader. Readers are leaders. Please read. Read important books. Books that will make you grow. So Jesus answered them saying, Share your carne. Have you not read? Okay, let's go on. Let's go on. I'll read verse 5. You read verse 6. And said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. Now you read verse 6. Let's go. So then, they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. They ask another question again in verse 7. They say, said to him, why then did Moses command to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away. Then Jesus our Lord responded in verse 8. Let's go. He said to them, Moses, because the, of the hardness of your hearts, permitted you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. <laughs> okay, let's read together. Let's go. One, two, three. The last one. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality and marries another commits adultery and whoever marries her who is divorced commits adultery praise the lord let's take our seats in his presence now verse 4 and verse 8 show me verse 4 and verse 8 now verse 4 and verse 8 shows us the stand of god that's the bible stand Every Christian, born again Christian, you know that the Bible is the principle that guides our life. Verse 4 said, and he, he answered and said to them, have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? Now that's why you see that when it comes to marriage, there is nowhere it is written in the Bible that he that made them made them male and male. No, it is biblically wrong for males to come together to say we want to get married as couples i will never allow it because the bible didn't allow it i will never accept it because the bible did not accept it this is what the bible says he made them male and female so or all gay i won't come and here hey, pastor you don't understand then where did the desire come from it came from the devil it came from the pit of hell so if you if you not a desire to have a fellow man or a fellow woman as your married partner you need deliverance you need to be prayed for. The devil has entered your heart. 
because he that made them from the beginning made them male and female. Now show us verse 8. Verse 8. I want to establish my points before we go back into the family of Jacob. He said to them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, need to report that he permitted you to divorce your wives. But look at it. He said, but from the beginning it was not so bad. But because Moses saw that you people don't like truth. Okay, okay, okay. That's what we call a permissive will. God, you are praying. You are just, it's just like Balaam. Balaam, God, God, oh God, oh God, some people came that I should follow them to go and prophesy. God said, don't follow them. God has said it once. Those people went to, the, to King Balak and told Balak, Balak brought extra chiefs with extra provisions. They came back again. Our prophets, follow us. Balaam went back to God. Oh God, oh God, shall I follow them? God said, go. That's a permissive will. It's not the original will of God for his life. That's why you see that when he was going, an angel wanted to kill him. May you not fall under God's permissive will. A permissive will can, can be established when you, you insist on following your own way. You know, there are people like that. They come to church and they will say, Sir, I know what I'm doing. If you, if you don't allow me to do what I want to do, I will join another church. At least, I've been in ministry now 20-something years, 28 years. I have seen cases. People that we told, gave counsel to, that are actually crying today. So a word is enough for he that is wise. Now let's look at dangers of polygamy. You know what polygamy is. I don't need to explain much. It is when a person marries more than a partner. If as a man, he has two, two, two and above wives. If as a woman, she has, because now we now see that even women got, get married to more than one man. I, I was reading, I was studying, I was, and I discovered that there's an African country I don't want to mention where when you visit them, they use their wife to entertain you. You know, the devil is just doing so many things, you know, to, to, to mock God. But he doesn't know the God that he's talking about. Polygamy is when you have more than one. And I always tell young ladies, before I show you the, the, uh, the dangers, I always tell young ladies, if you are dating a married man, what is the future of that relationship? Now, do you used to ask yourself, where will that relationship take you to? What will be your gain in that relationship? Where will it end? You are now coming up to say, he betrayed me because of his wife. No, what do you expect before? What are the dangers of polygamy? Number one, Understand this. No man has the ability, capacity to love two women in the same way. You understand this? I come again. No man has the ability slash capacity to love two women the same way. It means that if you involve yourself in polygamy, there is no how you will not be starved of love. Even as a man, there is no how you will not be biased. No man, not go and search scriptures. In fact, I took time to even study. Do you know that the man does not have the capacity to do two things at the same time? That's why the, the, the scientists told us that when they, 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 they took time to examine the man, they discovered that the way God created the man, the man cannot do two things at the same time. But the way God created the woman, the woman operates with the two sides of her brain. That's why a woman can be listening to the child and listening to the man at the same time, to her husband at the same time. But go and try it when a man is watching what he loves to watch. If I say football, some of you love football. Me, I don't love football anymore. I used to love it before. <laughs> but when the thing almost killed me, I stopped and I switched my love from football to wrestling. They know at home. Anytime I'm watching wrestling, it was when I discovered that wrestling was fake, I switched my love to kickboxing. So I love kickboxing. Anytime I'm watching kickboxing, I'm always concentrating. If you want to do it, don't disturb me. But I noticed that my wife could be watching the movie and still be listening to me at the same time. The way men are wired, men cannot love the same thing equally at the same time. That's why I go and search. You will see that when a man finds the love of his life, 
He loves his wife to the point that it becomes an issue for his mom. Have you not noticed that? He loves his wife to the point that it becomes an issue for his mom. That's why you see that the mothers, uh, it is always a, a husband's mother that we always have issue with, with the wife. Because a man cannot give equal love to two people at the same time. Go to Genesis chapter 29 and verse 30. Let's look at the marriage of Jacob. Genesis 29 and verse 30. Genesis will be very, very fast. I don't have all the time. Now look at it. Genesis, Genesis 29, not 39, 29 and verse 30. Thank you. Then Jacob also went into Rachel and as, sorry, and he also loved Rachel more than what? Leah. He loved Rachel more than. The love cannot be equal. And he, he served with uh, Liban still another seven years. The love cannot be equal. That's why before you begin to think of going into a polygamous marriage, young lady, born again sister, understand that you will be deprived though. The place of your, uh, the place you think you're, you will be in the heart of your husband, there will be contention. No? Think of that very, very well before you begin to go into it. Because there is no how the man can love you equally. I wrote here, the love will, be, will not be balanced and it will set the stage for rivalry between the women involved. I was raised from a polygamous home. My wife, my husband, my, sorry, my, my father had about seven wives. And sincerely speaking, I know the battle I fought to get to where I am today. It got to a point, my mother could not stay. I remember one day, one of his wives came. That one delivered two for, for, for him. And, you know, he, he walked into the house. And my mother in her own believed that well, me, and, me, and, me and you, we built this house together. We labored together. So she gave the woman the beating of her life. And my dad walked in. And the woman was saying, I follow the show mama, we mean you know, me pani. Show mama, we mean you know, me pani. You know? And my mother too was saying, ah, ah, for are you going to be looking? Are you not going to send this woman away? I, I can still remember I was in primary two. I can still remember how my daddy stood. This woman was troubling him. This woman was troubling him. And he concluded and faced my mother and said, see, if you cannot cope with what you see, you better leave. And when my father's mother was consulted, you know what she said? He said, I did not circumcise my son because of one woman. Can you imagine? But you know, you know one of the things that touched me? You know one of the things that touched me? At his dying point in the hospital, there was no wife with him. Because you know what polygamy will do? It will make every child to be close to their mom. Polygamous marriage. At the end of the day, the man will become lonely. But we are not yet there now. But what I'm talking about is for you to think very well. Because you, brother, that they are already canceling you. Would have been clear, yeah, woe, yeah, yeah, ah, oh, yeah, oh, my way, oh, my, like, yeah, woe, yeah, yeah, what's it about with the messy, woe, woe, oh, monk, oh, my, what I'm a daffo, carry a lay, ballet, or your fair, yeah, woe, ah, woe, what if a battery, yeah. Look at Jacob. There is no how the love will be balanced. You can't hide it. And it will set a stage for rivalry. I gave somebody a lift some months ago. Uh, I and uh, uh, in that time, we were coming to shop. I don't know, you are, you are not the one you have gone to school. We were coming to the office here. And the woman was talking, as we were talking, she was saying, Okowa, 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 Okowa. Anything was, you make reference, Okowa. As we managed to drop her, my daughter asked, Daddy, I said, what happened? Do you notice her language? I said, what is it? I wanted her to speak. He said, why is the woman saying, Okowa? That she never said, Okomi, Okowa. I said, because she's not the only wife. Don't turn your peaceful home to a war zone. Kini Yoruba man so, Omani de uba do. Ah, it, I want you to go with Pombio. What does that mean? It means that the, the, the beautiful city will look like forest if there is war at home. Most times you think that the peace is just for me, myself. No, listen, they can create a war 
uh, you know, an environment of war for you in the house that you will not be able to think straight coming home again. I wrote here, this is why as a woman, you should never agree to be lured into it for any reason. Imagine how two sisters were turned against each other by the love of their husband. Don't forget that Leah and Rachel were blood sisters. But can you imagine love is so strong that it can turn blood sisters against themselves? Imagine. You know, you, you say blood is thicker than what, but in this case, blood is not thicker than love. Are there any blood sisters? They grew up together. Leah was the senior, Rachel was the second. But one man came in. Only one man turned them to enemies of themselves. Rodada Kotoshe. I taught them in the Bible school last week, and I'm telling you now. One of the things that I want you to understand about God is that God will never allow you. Sorry, God will never force you into his will. I come again. God never forces people into his will. You know what God will do? He will show you his will. And he will leave it up to you to make your choice. And how did I know it? The, the garden that God put man inside. It was the garden of Eden. He put the tree of life at a distance where man could not reach. But he now put the tree of the knowledge of good and evil where? At the middle. He put it at the center. So that man could not go to this side or the other side without seeing that tree. You know what God wanted to do? God wanted man to prove that he loves him. God doesn't want to force man to love him. So, he was, man will go and see the tree. He will come like this, he will see the tree. He will go like this, he will see the tree. When the serpent started talking to Eve, do you think that God was not there? He's omnipresent. An omnipresent God is a God that is everywhere. God was there when the serpent was talking. Somebody will say, ah, number one bear. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. No, that will be that God forced man to love him. God kept quiet, was looking at Eve. As Satan was talking with Eve. As, listen, God is also looking at you to see whether you genuinely love him. And Eve did what? Took the fruit, ate it. The Bible says gave to the husband. The husband didn't resist. He ate as well. They discovered they were naked and God spoke. Hey, damn, where are you? He spoke as man. He saw them all. But he spoke as man. And Adam said, Lord, I heard your voice. He didn't lie. I was naked and I went to hide myself. Who told you you were naked? He said, eh, the woman you gave me. The woman. What happened? He said, the serpent. Can you see that God gave everyone punishment? Do you know why he gave them punishment? He gave them punishment because the devil never actually forced anyone. The devil only does, he, he only advertised his product. And men went to buy it. <laughs> what am I telling you now? I, upon all my preaching, I know that the people that will not listen will not listen. Some will say, oh, I don't mind, Pastor. If you see, I have wisdom to manage women. I have the anointing. Uh, I, I can manage even four or five. If you survive it, you will tell us the story. Say here. Yeah. Number two. The second danger in polygamy, in polygamous, polygamous marriage, number two, the women involved in polygamous marriage will fall to the temptation to compete with themselves over the best place in the heart of their husbands. I come again. The women involved in polygamous marriage will fall to the temptation to compete with themselves over the best place in the heart of their husbands. Let me come again. The women involved in polygamous marriage will fall to the temptation to compete with themselves over the best place in the heart of their husband. Can I tell you the fact? Women were not created by God, hear me, to be able to manage the competition of their love, of the person they love. God didn't create them like that. That's why you see that when it comes to love, women can go extra mile. 
But the next thing that you see, okay, let's look at it in the school. You look at their family. Gen that's in Genesis 29, 30 to 35. The competition begins. It started in that Genesis 29, 30 to 35. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't have all the time. I don't have all the time. Sada Yarabaskin. Let's go. Okay, from verse, uh, yes. Then Jacob also went into Rachel. And he loved Rachel. Okay, well, I've taken this. Show me from verse 31 now. 31. 31. When the Lord saw that Leah was unloved, he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. Verse, next verse. So Leah conceived and bore a son and called his name what? Reuben. For she said, the Lord has surely looked on my affliction. Now, therefore, my husband will love me. Wait for me here. You know, while everybody was rejoicing, ah, ah, ah praise God, oh, we have a firstborn of Jacob. Look at what was in the heart of Rachel. Ah, yes, I'm competing with my sister. Now my husband will love me. Can you see? That was what was in her, that was the stage in her heart. Competition, we are in this battle. So that's, that name, Ru, Ru, Ruben, it was only Leah eh, and Rachel that understood what they were doing. They were, what is some of me? My husband will love me. So every time, my husband will love me. Shall we indirect what? Abuse to answer me now. Uh, let's read on, let's read on, let's read on. Let's, let's read on. Then she conceived again and bore a son and said, because the Lord has heard that I am unloved, he has therefore given me this son and he called his name Simon because the Lord has seen that I am not loved. So when, on the day of name, when she wants to name, um, uh, she had the says, praise the Lord, I have a son. Uh, I want to tell you his name because the Lord has seen that I am not loved. Rivalry to bear it. You can't stand the competition. Now, next verse. Next verse. We stop at 35. Next verse. Look at it. She conceived again. Why is she just conceiving? Because she wanted to prove something wrong. She wanted to say, no, that woman is barren. Boy, his son. And, and said, now this time my husband will become attached to me. Because I have born him three sons. Therefore, he called his name, what? Levi. My husband will become attached to me. She didn't stop. Verse 35. And she conceived again. And bore a son and said, now I will praise the Lord. Can you see when she started to praise God? Not number one, no, not number two, not number... It was in child number what? Number four. Now, therefore she called his name Judah. Then she stopped bearing children. We'll jump to verse, uh, chapter 30 very soon. I'm coming there. So, you notice this. You can't, you can't stand it. You are a young girl just coming up. You can't stand competing with another girl over the, the love of your husband. You can't stand it. Go easy. If I wrote something down here, I want to read to your hearing. The man, do you know that this competition was at the risk of the life of their husband, Jacob? Because this one will cook rice. This one will cook beans. Can you imagine you want to sit with the rice and somebody brought fufu? <laughs> only, only sound funny. I'm I, I was raised in a polygamous home. Sir? It happens. So if you don't want to follow Bible pattern, hear me. You should understand that it will affect you. That's why you must understand this very, very well. You better work on the marriage you have. And can you now imagine if you are saying, I'm struggling with one woman. Now make them two. Sir? <laughs> can you imagine you have two of Iyachi Som, two of Mrs. Fumilayo Akinde, two of uh, Mommy Ewa? <laughs> Only one and a half go easy. <laughs> the Lord. Am I communicating? Erodada. The principle of God is easy. But most people think that uh, God doesn't know what he's doing. You are smarter than God. Are you learning something at all? Imagine the stress Leah went through 
I'm still speaking to the ladies now because she wanted to, she wanted a place in the heart of her husband. Imagine the stress she went through. So if you don't know the stress that these wives are going through in polygamous marriage. Women are good. Ah, I'm telling you, in polygamous marriage, they are going through a lot of stress. To bat symbol at the no, no. The man too will be thinking but he will have to go and build a waiting room. All of you are in the waiting room. Sister, I wrote that down. To the most of you sisters, who will a man who has a polygamous marriage. But I am low gone. I like you and low. What sorry back with Jesus? Can I tell you the truth? A water man that do have one by me to back with Wally. Sherry, oh, what less? Lua Jelita. We used to go and preach to some of them secretly. Pastor, pray for me. Oh, wow. What could see for Kambale? I can't see that dish. You know what? That's what I could see. Yeah, number three, number three, number three. Many not ready. Let's go to number three. Listen, the man involved in polygamous marriage will do so many things that are not convenient for him as a way to compensate any of his wife that feels cheated. I'll come again. The man involved in polygamous marriage will do so many things that are not convenient for him as a way to compensate any of his wife that feels cheated. Let's go to Genesis 30. Now we are going to read 1 to 12. It's like this love is not balanced, so the man will want to go extra mile. Now, look at what happened in Jacob's house. Genesis chapter 30 from verse 1. We are taking 12 verses here from verse 1 to verse 12. It's more mirror here. Are you sure? Okay. Genesis chapter 30, 1 to 12. Let's go. Now, when Rachel saw, look at this one, that she bought Jacob no children. Rachel envied her sister and said to Jacob, Give me children or else I will die. Ma paramisi elono to bafumi lomo. I won't see Jacob was of us too. Ma paramiloro to bafumi lomo. And Jacob's anger was aroused against Rachel. And he said, Am I in the place of God who has withheld from you the fruit of the womb? She mucha mojo lon to ya kolo yuni. Rachel lo madake, verse three, kilo she. So she said, Here is my maid, Omo Domile. Bila, go into her, and she will bear a child on my knees, that I may also have children. But can you see? Jacob go bargain for la What he didn't bargain for for the from the at uh, the foundation of his life, he had to take wife number four. You have to sleep without. Ah, all the men that are here know that if a woman wants something, and she really wants it. I have, I'm yet to see the man that is strong enough to say no. You know, the man may look like the leader, but he's not. We all know. You don't like truth. The man may look like the leader. Unless, on, listen, you are the leader when, the, when you're dancing to the tune. <laughs> but if you dance against the beating of the drum, they know how to bring you back to order. You will cry without king. <laughs> 28 years, Ray. Two am a, okunye mama, sari, adeba, sunkubi omodeba, Oh, yeah, you know, so. <laughs> what the Muslim Walani have? Back to our message. Can you imagine what Jacob did in Bagay? You know, 
you, do you think she just said, oh, yeah, take him, take her, and sleep with her? Go and ask Father Abraham. The pressure must have been too much. You can't stand, if you think you are a strong man, you can't stand the pressure of polygamy. Let's read on, let's read on, let's read on. I take him to 12. Then she gave him, Bila, her maid, as wife, and Jacob went into her. Yes, next verse. Next verse now, oh yeah. Ah. And Bila conceived and bought Jacob a son, thinking that it's okay. Next verse. Then Rachel said, God has judged my case, and he has also heard my voice and given me a son. Therefore, she called his name Dan. Verse 7. And Rachel's maid, Bila, he told him, oh yeah, go back, Jacob, we party you. Go back again. <laughs> And Bila conceived again and bought Jacob a second son. Verse 8, verse 8. We are stopping at verse 12. Then Rachel said, with great wrestling, I have wrestled with my sister. Can you imagine? Jacob was just living his own life. But I want your wrestling. Into one. And indeed, I have prevailed. So she called his name Naphtali. Verse 9. When Leah saw, she said, that she had stopped bearing, she took Zilpha, her maid. You know what they are? You are a cheat. She gave you maid. You agree? Me too. I have my own maid. Oh, Ojula Sonko, Kish Kish Ishogun. What he didn't pray for. <laughs> I, ha I handled one case many years ago. That boy, that baby now, I saw him at a, a, a label, uh, was it not last year? That boy has grown. He called me by name. Hello, Pastor Prince Will. I turned back. Where are you? He said, my mommy said you are the one that named me. Where is your mommy? He said, my, this is my mommy. I remember him. Do you know that it was that naming that, that sent that man back to the village? They gave birth to a child. After many years of trusting God for fruit of the womb, the man now came to see me in the house very early. Papa, Munie, Sherry Omota B, Omota Tin Ritini, Omo Yano, not Denny, Uriota, and Motigba. I've told you the testimony before. They cursed him and we prayed for him on the altar. He said, But daddy, Timba, she name me Malano. Muniki lo, the only book, Boto Kulawomi, Mufefi established business. But yeah, you ba. Muniko Babi Tibao. Uti pete me not a man called Jayimi. Munin Shombe. Ah. You know what I've learned these days, eh? I've learned some lessons that I should allow some people to go through their troubles. Some of you are only coming to church. You, you don't follow my counsel. Sincerely speaking. And I vowed that I will allow some of you to go through your troubles. I got to their house and I started counseling the young lady, the woman. Yes, a minimum pray to my if you are our lost people to don't operation lower. Oh my dark, we started praying. I sent you and you don't want to monica lot of lost people because strong battle. If I say I should share a time with go. My inigo boot lower and offer fish a business name. The money was going to about something, some million, one point something million. Oh my bad, did it to me, Pastor? Hey, you go, the bar me so cool, my shame in woo. Name me when you call Mashi, Mashili, Ayagbo, or Ramo. Now I told the woman, I said, My Jackie in sorrow, she am okay, it's a big con, tell them big con. Koyaki in sorrow, it's a beating. I call me it's here, only Yako, she has a man, only Yako money, or what she wear, name me, Ayako, don't suck on Luo. Pay awake, get your kind, go invest there. Only Papa and Mabami so say. If I turn that at the only liberty for party issue, honey, do so. You better not if you mean let size make a pastor knee, teen the care was on my local. Who seem to come, you can look at a bashi. Yes, sir. Who see who continue on say, Mongunya fried rice, 
jollof rice, moi moi, amala, eba, semu, kumasento wa. Mama long kan le kwa wenyi, e jo she je semu, e jo inyong wa o. But do you know that after that naming, that man went back to the village to square one. That, the money he held that time was the money he made from politics to have his start life. I'm telling you the pressure that made Jacob to say, Oh, yeah, Muzilfa, no, wah. It's not something he planned. Don't, don't try polygamy. Open your eyes. I'm still talking to the men. We are studying scriptures. Well, what verse are we? What verse are we? When Leah saw that she had stopped here, so she brought Zilpha, her maid, and gave her to Jacob as wife. Uh -huh. Verse 10. My monitor has gone off. Okay, thank you. And Leah's maid, where are you now? Bought Jacob a son. Verse 11. Kilo no, to us all. And then Leah said, A troop <laughs> comes. Hey, a troop has come. So he called his name God. Verse 30, the, the, the next verse. Where do I stop? Verse 12. And Leah's maid, Zephyr, bought Jacob. What again? It's a concern. To repay, Bila, no, B. Meji. Can you see that? It was not convenient for the man. Have you established your one wife? Not to talk about you, you. You can't buy Christmas cloth for one and not buy for the other. You can't establish business for one and not buy for, exactly for the other. That's why prayerfully follow instruction now. Manage the one woman that God has given to you. Jacob was going through a lot of stress when he was trying to balance things in his home. Even if you read Elikana's statement. That's uh, Hannah's story now. He had to give Hannah extra portion of meat whenever she, uh, 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 she cries because of what Penina arrives. You know, Penina will lose her breeze. Ah, gone, ah, gone. So to compensate for it, you know what Elikana will do? He will call Hannah, don't worry, I will give you extra portion. If you are learning something, say, I hear you can do better. Amen. Beloved, see what Jacob said about himself when he was asked of his age by King Pharaoh. Genesis 47, 7 to 9. Look at what he said about himself. Genesis chapter 47. My monitor is not working, please. Genesis chapter 47, verse 7 to verse 9. Is he on screen already? Let me come down. This one is not working. Look at what he now said. Once he looked here, once he looked here, go. Then Joseph brought his father Jacob and set him before Pharaoh. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh. Yes? Verse 8. Pharaoh said to Jacob, How old are you? Next verse. She be how old are you? But well, look at what he said. And Jacob said to Pharaoh, The days of the years of my pilgrimage are more, sorry, are 130. Few. And what? evil have been the days of the years of my life. He lived among two women that terrorized him. And he said, evil had been the days of the years of my life. And they have not attained to the days of the years of my life of my, of, of, of my father. Evil had been the days. If what you are trusting for if the reason why you are trying to get a second wife is for children why not find out why your wife does not yet have a child if you need medical help go for medical help if you need spiritual help go for counseling instead of saying let's take a second wife ah you don't know Problem to Baba and Benike just solve. First three years of our marriage, my wife asked my wife, we didn't have a child. 
And now you know some of you ladies will be saying, there is no problem. Uh, there is no problem. There is no problem. I will leave him and leave alone. Look at me. Look at me. This is 28 years of being a pastor. Sharing content on single mothers in one face. And early face here. When they, when they come to see me for counseling, you know what? Those children that you are taking, I say, as long as my child is there, oh, did you tell me ever find the lover of his life? You want to have the second class? I want to take a oh, she says, oh, for quelle. You to back with the money, Jebulu, mommy, mo be seen, not in the family. Ah. Oh, you are calling your son, and look, come and use your car to carry me. I must be a homie, Jaddy. Oh, my English, it's a quick bang, 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 Kosibo me, Kosello me. I told that one that I said, if I die and you remarry, I will come from heaven to scatter him. <laughs> On your wedding, so that wedding day, I will carry the whole tent. And to back, who the father was a year in the moon, so you know, you, you should say some things in your marriage. To make your spouses know how much love you have for them. It's not every time you are speaking, the Bible says, the Bible says, in your mind. <laughs> Number four. Are you learning something? The children produced in a polygamous marriage most times grow with hatred for each other. Some of them will grow, grow up with a competitive spirit and will want to outshine each other. Let me come again because of those of you writing. The children produced in a polygamous marriage most times grow up with hatred for each other. When we went for our family meeting, you know, my father's house at Mosfala, he built about five flats. And... Uh, I've not been there in the past two years. And I don't intend to even go there again. The last meeting we held, there is no how we can put food in front of ourselves. And we're about uh, 11 or 12 or 17, I can't remember again, from different mothers. But, I do a mountain of fire. But yet, there's no trust. Don't raise that kind of a family. I wrote here, because of those of you writing, the children produced in a polygamous marriage most times grow up with hatred for each other. Some will grow up with a competitive spirit and will want to outshine each other. And I wrote here, the envy, hatred, and jealousy was injected by their mothers. And when Yawolo injected, no more. Wo wo ori lo je o ori lo je o ori lo je minimum bill wo wa lo school wa wa jade ni wa doctor lo ma se o doctor lo ma se o ka le show won that competition ah awon iya lo gbin you now see that all of them we have the same surname but they don't have a united heart He be he be buried at Baba Ke toli agree date buried at he toni kaluku ma da he be thirty ma she and when he be ma da si ke to ba lati joma shokona you know if it is one wife one husband ah ah senior can just come over and say hey ya bro eh wo buy la ma she o kilerisi kilerisi because the system has been organized from the beginning.
You know, this is one of the reasons why I always say, I don't agree that you are going for a greener pasture. You now leave your wife and children here, you are going to UK. I know you won't like this, brothers. If you go to UK, go and study their UK law, you can't come back home in the next 10 years if you want genuine papers. That you don't want to, you don't want to do organized marriage. Genuine papers, you can't come home in the less than 10 years. Now, ento officially and lay for 10 years. She guinea. She chromosomes are in Larry. Yeah. Hey, like you talk. I told you they taught us biology in school. I be that damn Larry. She was a chromosomes in me. Ah. I was going through uh, your last notebook, GSS1. They have started teaching them puberty. I was reading with him, so we're studying, preparing for exam. Puberty? I said, well, what is puberty? <laughs> and we're studying together. I need GSS-1. I said, you soon get to chromosomes. <laughs> ah. Now, what am I saying? The man that goes there for 10 years, the place is, there is no... There's, there's no heat there like here. <laughs> Born again, brother Lennon Lloyd, and you come on, Guru Mamma Tio, Tio Bamoti, she could nearly come out to do any. Think very well. So, if you don't think of these things, ah, Malonio, Maloni, come and send the container, Bamma, Bamma, Bashing, she come and love me. You just woke, wake up one morning, somebody became, I came to look for my dad. He said, what is your name? My name is this. Ah. We bear the same surname. He said, yes, I'm looking for my dad. He was in England many years ago, but they told me back that he has come back to Nigeria. She went in there local <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, we have to, all these things we are listening, these are things that people don't want to talk about. That's why I always encourage young brother, if you will travel, don't promise a sister here, travel. Don't promise any sister in Nigeria. Travel and go and go over there. You can, God may help you, things work out, you come back and marry her. But if you are happily married, you have children, and your husband traveling in five years is back, I can tell you he's married. I can tell you, your children are not the only children he has. They will soon call you. I know you are saying I reject it in Jesus' name. I hope you reject it too in Jesus' name. Let's finish this one. So the envy, hatred, and jealousy was injected by their mothers. Can you now see where the hatred for Joseph came from? Can you imagine? That was where the Joseph for hatred. He be totally better near. He not call that Joseph. Genesis chapter thirty-seven. Okay, there's no time. There's no time. It's not idea, I feel it. That was where the hatred, that was where the thing started from. Because the Bible says, uh, 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 Jacob loved Rachel, um, uh, Joseph, because he was the son of his old age. Kiwani Benjamin. If Joseph was the son of old age, who is Benjamin? He loved Rachel. Joseph because he loved Rachel. Yes. Yes. So when he saw Joseph, oh God. Oh, possible go keep joking Joseph Joe Rachel. I want you put any them all. Rachel to Kunti want his soft way. Yeah, one you cut it. Badum Baba Wow. So so many battles that people are fighting today, it was caused by polygamous marriage. Most 
So Yahile aja the sorry or amounti. Ile na aja the sorry or amounti. Ile na aja the sorry or amounti. Now grow up fighting. I'm resting my case now. These are the things I discovered from my study that I say I will bring to you to show you the danger in polygamous marriage. I want to live my life as a Christian, a born again Christian that follows the Bible. That's how I want to live my life. I've decided to follow Jesus. Now, quickly, please, just give me two minutes. Let me talk to some of you, the youths. Now, Jacob became a polygamist by accident. He never planned to become a polygamist. He was cheated into it. You can become a polygamist by accident. How? You can become a polygamist if you choose not to follow counsel. Young people, if you choose not to follow counsel, see, when it comes to choosing a partner for marriage, you need more than your own wisdom. I told my children, I said, when it is time for you to begin to bring people to me, your daddy, know that it is not only me you will bring them to. They said, who? I said, you, anybody you bring to me, I will take to Bishop Adelaku. That's my father in the Lord. Bishop Adelaku will take them to his father in the Lord, Pastor Adeboe. And I know Bishop Adeboe will hear it. I said, so you better think well. Whoever that brother is that is fake, one about me, what the People don't listen to cancer. Hey, secret love, secret love, secret love. The brother said, I should not tell you. Don't tell what. It happened in our church too. There was a time we were having a meeting. I was having a meeting with the sisters. So I now asked them, who are you dating? One sister mentioned two brothers in our church. So she was dating two of them systematically. You know, if they didn't open up, there is no how they will know. So, and you know unfair. Kilos of war, yes, sir. Kilos of war, you know, so ah, who need to be any brother? You in control, lane church, you are there. Oh, yeah, fair, fair. So, if you don't want to enter accidentally, that's one. Two, you can enter polygamy stubbornly. If you insist, I won't follow what they are saying. You know there are people like that. Oh, eti niagi diju, eti buruju, brother. Kilo de shele, tabale buru. You are married, and your house is a matured girl. It's dangerous for your marriage. You say no, my my brother is my husband is born again. Man is a spirit. He has a soul. He lives in a flesh, in a body. The human body is not going to heaven. That's why I'm not bothered about your earring, your chain, your makeup. If trumpet should sound now, the Bible says you shall be changed. This body will fall down. The real you will come out. Now, this human body, hear me. No matter how born again you are, you need more, you need continuous self-discipline, self-denial to control it. You don't conquer your flesh. You manage it. You know, my husband is born again. Nothing will happen. Something will happen. You'll be shocked. One day your husband will be pregnant. Why? Because your husband is a spirit that has a soul but lives inside the body. Another way of entering polygamy is stubbornly. Sister or brother, love your husband. Love your wife. I treat them well. You insist. Nothing. I will not care. I will now, where you are, I'm telling you true life. So, ah, Holy Spirit, please give me one more minute. No, no, don't let me to con don't let me continue. It's bad. Uh, in preaching, you have to respect people's time. Do you know that we once have a dickness in this our church? Some of our leaders will, will understand. That was so stubborn, so busy with God, stubborn with God, and they neglect her marriage. The husband will not take breakfast at home. The husband will not take dinner. But there was one sister on me in the husband's office. That was trusting God, praying for husband.
Listen. Because this man loves his wife. To bad dofis laro uma joko uma ma sunku. Ebi ni kono nolo fe josun. Muti wa fe josun mi. Muti pesi uma i titi kubo. Kilo de inche kishi kunya leo. Taba pari church wa me ola dua tiwa auto uma lori oke kono ba dua. Che wakam 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 so daft. Wakam believe pita wakam wakati gwo kuta adua ulegba. Abi kono kule. So, look up, Jesus, look up, 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 ono me man be be lowe je kin lo kunle 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 ko luruko e o that marriage has five children mo notice book in je o ki lo se lo ki e je ka jo je breakfast si bi tin je bi to tin je breakfast ko wa kin boda mo nle to ma close and i don't feel like going home okay je ka ya ko je dinner ko to Tori to ba ma dele gan. Church in on the awesome hour. I know when I ask the woman, is this true? Only but one tiba on moto dagba kilo nfe madan of a confu woman so funke e dan of baba yin. So e kin dan of a womo for ko yin. Woman ro ka womo lo nda fun. I say baba o no wa to aya ko e wo le wa lo. A ti lo je onile ona me igba mi a gba gbe sun lo nbe. This woman now came back to report to me. That's a case there. That's enjoying. Take a dasi. Or call me or change you. Or call me go to Kinwa King Sunle. I now called the man. The man was trying to prove someone. I called the elder sister. Be a she deal kwe loru ko kunle kunle ko loru ni mo. O ko forty from kosa. He delayed back but not to raise wa. He won yali. Ni bolo tiri. O ko buse kuni pe anti me. And see me, a con no mini a bidding cotton shell, and no mini a bidding cotton shell. Kilo de Oya Kilo shell. Only a bill, oh, yeah, only your moody general and leg bay. Your own moody general only leg bay. Your own moody sumac bay. Pass on one day while we joke. And now face her, and go on dickness. Eh, that no for coin. Hey, only come on, Mamma, down, down, she bought it down, Mato Dagba. Ha. Eh, go, on ya ronko. Eh, mo pe pop off lo nta, o ma koko lo soke. Igba o le tu sumo la yin gbe. Eh, igba tun wun la gbe mo ma fi de o ti re o. You hear Yoruba baba dey talk? Try to interpret them for yourself. Lo and behold, we started begging the man. You know what he said? He said, "Sir, if I forgive my wife, I betray that girl." It's not yes, so it's demonic way for him to enter polygamy. He said, "If I if I forgive my wife, I betray that girl. What will now be a what will now be a profit for all this help that she has done to me?" I be your duty to woman yes, so cool, so cool, so cool. You know some things that you don't value. It is when they fall off that you realize. As I'm talking to you. That man is married to an ome. That woman is a single mother. She has gone to join a church as full-time minister. She has gone to a church as a full-time minister. She has gone to a We tried to settle you, but you didn't settle. That was how the man became a polygamist. So now he's playing between the two of them. That girl is now the wife at home. Then he comes to visit the mother of his children to give money to them. Will you learn from this? Maintain the one that God has given to you. Every married person, maintain the one that God has given to you. Every young lady, please get it right. 
allow yourself to be counseled from the beginning. Every married person, there could be issue in marriage where you have issues. Come out, ask for help. Let them counsel you. And when they counsel you, follow principles. The Lord will help us and bless us in Jesus' name. Let's rise up on our feet. Oh yeah, rise up. I know that all of you will not clap. Some of you will be so angry. But you know that I have police officers outside. Abby, if you choose to, if you choose to say you want to fight me, I'll just call them. Uh, they will carry you. And I have my uh, Peters inside. They have that guy in their pocket. They will just cut off your ear. <laughs> but sincerely speaking, this is the truth. Will you follow it? Will you follow it? You keep praying for yourself. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Do you have anybody coming for the first time? Any first time in the church? Anybody like that? None. I want to pray for you. All the women, don't forget, you have to wait after this service. Sisters, you are part of.